Okay, today I want to take you through the setup of the active votes. And really, the setup is very easy. All, you, all it really requires is that you plug in the USB hub. It looks, if you can see the picture, it's just a little USB adapter that should be in the case of the active votes. So you can plug that in. And if you pull up your browser, you get move this to the side. If you pull up your browser, what you want to do to make sure that it's registered, go to the last icon on the right in your browser. And just one little tip, if you do not have a browser, you have definitely deleted it, you go to View Browser, and it'll pop up. So I want to click the icon of the active vote, and if you're using the active votes, you want that selected. If you have the more advanced active expressions, you would select that. In this case, I don't have them registered. I'm not using the active expressions. For this demonstration, I'm going to just use the active votes. So they're, they're registered. They're ready to go. So what I did here, I have the next page. I actually have a question set up. So if I go to the next page, I see that I have an active question. I'm trying to make it real easy. I can tell it's an active question because this icon in my toolbar, it turned green. So really, as long as I have the USB plug, USB hub plugged into the USB, one of the USB ports, I'm ready to go. I just push the button and it's ready to launch. So your students could just simply pick up. I'm picking up number one and I'm going to get the correct answer. I'm going to choose A. Hub number two, I'm going to try to get the wrong answer and I'm going to pick B. So as soon as I select my response, you can see it entered up to get the correct answer. So when everyone voted, I'm going to hit stop over here, and again, you can move this wherever you want. Same, same way with this. This could be fully moved around out of the, out of the way. If, it, if it's in the way, just move it off to the side. I'm going to hit stop, and I can see the results. So if you wanted to see who, Got it right? You can select from this menu who answered what graph. So I can see number 1, 4, and 26 had the correct answer. And this one, I actually used the template. And I'll show you exactly how to do that uh, after we go through this one, one more example here. So again, I'm just going to quickly activate it. We'll have number 1 quickly get the answer. And I'm just going to start pushing buttons. So move this along. This right here. We'll have number 26 get the correct answer. And I'm going to hit stop. And once again, I'm going to see who had it correct. And you can go over the question you know, right there on the spot. My next slide is a question that I have where I didn't actually set up ahead of time. I just simply wrote that down the question. And if you have the active expressions, you don't even need to make it multiple choice. Now with the active Votes, the simpler ones, of course, it has to be a yes, no, true, false, multiple choice type question. So in this case, since I don't have this icon ready to go, I didn't set up ahead of time. Perhaps it was another question. Now the kids really didn't fully understand it, so you quickly on the top just make up another question. You can do that. You can write it on the spot, but then you're going to use the express poll. And in this case, I want three responses. So in this pops up, I'm going to choose multiple choice, and I'm going to choose A through C. As soon as I do this, the students can respond. And hopefully we know that the true answer is 14, order of operations, 12 plus 2 is 14. But let's assume number 1 didn't realize that, and he chose A, and get the correct answer. So again, I'm going to simply stop. And I can now assign the correct since this is something I didn't set up ahead of time, but we should know that the answer, the correct answer, is C. And I can finish. And I, again, I can see who has the correct answer. A question that you want to make up ahead of time at home, simply go to Insert. We're going to go to Question. And again, here's your choices. Now, of course, if you're using the simpler ones, you're not going to have a text response. You can't have a numbered response. But you can have multiple choice, true, false. So I'm going to do a multiple choice. Now, here's where you want to pick the number of uh, choices. So in this case, I'm just going to do one with three questions. And I'm going to add it to current page. 
I'm going to go to next. Here's where you can select your, your format. So if you want to choose, you can actually zoom in. You want to see exactly what they look like. Now just be be aware that you, if you're using the active votes, make sure you choose letters. Just go to next. You can type in the question. I'm not going to take the time to do whatever the question is. You can specify a time. Now make sure you keep this as one. You want the student to respond one time and only one time. But here's where answers would go. And then finally, go through this. And I could assign the correct answer. And then next. And there it is. The students can see the question up top. And then here are their responses. And notice, as soon as I did that, this guy's ready to go, so I'm ready to launch the type of questions. So, as far as the results, if you go down here, go to your browser and select last icon, you can have results. So you can always go back to the questions. Let me pin this so it stays open. You can always go back and see the questions. So like if I forget, oh, I want to see how many people had question number two right. I can simply double click that and I can once again see the results. And the nice thing is once I have all my questions and everyone uh, responded, I can export export the results to a spread users. Now the one thing that you may say, well I want to know the total percentage of my class. Now I really don't see that but if you know anything about Excel, it's pretty easy to put select the cell and then go to formulas and what I'm going to do is more functions and I'm going to go to statistics and I'm simply going to have average and then I'm going to I want the average of this column so I select the column and hit OK and I can see only 44 my class performed at a 44 percent level only 44 percent of questions were correct as as a whole and you can use this data you know you can quickly you know record this well person that had number one they had two out of the three so 67 percent person number two had all of them wrong really didn't understand the concept and so on you can also down here see the results of the individual questions. So we do a half decent job of organizing the data so that it's fairly easy for record keeping per assessment. So I will be available if you have any questions or actually how to utilize this, what you do need the software. So if you plan on using these active pub or the active votes, make sure you see me about getting the, the software installed. Thank you.